We are back with a recipe video. I know it's been a long time since I even posted up a video, but we're back at it now. I got a whole topic for 2020 coming up. So check out the link below and information down below to know what's going on and everything and why I probably haven't been talking. We're gonna jump right into today's recipe video. Now, I know everyone loves Nutella, but I can't have it because I'm allergic to nuts. But the only nut I can have is walnuts. So if you have a nut allergy, this recipe is great for you because you can pretty much substitute whatever nut you're able to eat and then you could just reproduce the Nutella that works with the nut that you can have. So for me, it's walnut Nutella and we're gonna jump right into the recipe of how we did it. So first you're gonna start off with a box of walnuts depending on the amount you wanna make. You're gonna spread them really evenly on the sheet or a pan or tin like I have right here. You're gonna put the oven on to 350 degrees and you're gonna leave your nuts in there for about 12 minutes roughly until they get kind of like a brown crisp to them. Then you're gonna take them out, you're gonna place them, let them cool down a little bit. And when you heat them up, they're gonna get a little bit of this layer on top and that's what we wanna take out. So what you see me doing here is putting them in a towel, towel and just rubbing out all that like excess little skin that's on top of the nuts. Then you're gonna put them in your blender, super, super simple. You're gonna put your blender on high. I have a Vitamix here, so it was really easy to just mash it up and make it into like a really nutty consistency, as you can see here. So it's like really more of a nut butter. When that's done, you're gonna take your chocolate. I have about these vegan chocolates that I have here. They're about like 60% dark chocolate. You're gonna heat them up a little bit. You don't wanna melt, melt it completely. And then you're gonna put them in the Vitamix with the nuts. You're gonna do roughly half first of the bowl and then you're gonna heat it up a little bit or mix it up should I say then you're gonna add the rest and you're gonna get like a nice fluid type look that you have here you're gonna grab your jar you're gonna put it in the jar I made roughly about 500 ml of Nutella so now it's really watery you're gonna leave it in the fridge overnight or up to 24 to 36 hours so it gets really nice and dense and then once that's all over you grab a spoon and you can enjoy as you can see here the yummy goodness of walnut Nutella so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's really simple, it's really easy. Anyone can do it and you can do it at home. You can make so much to last you the week, last you a couple weeks. For me, that jar lasted roughly about a week because I love chocolate. So <laughs> that's how that worked. But I'll be coming out with more video guys. So please subscribe, hit that notification bell. Once again, in case you haven't done it in the beginning of the video, do it right now just before the video ends. Just so you guys could enjoy what's about to come. Really excited for 2020, big things coming. I'm happy to share it with you guys and to really just express myself and give you a lot of content for free. Yeah, let's go with that. All right guys, it's your boy. That's it, Zach, the fighting therapist. You know what it is. Punch, headbutt, elbow, knee, peace.